Hey guys, my name's Nell. Today we'll be doing an all over body workout on the Reformer. I've been teaching these programs for 15 years and they successfully progress you through the Pilates repertoire. I really hope you enjoy, now let's get started. Okay, let's get started. We're going to put two springs on, two full springs. Lying on your back, we're going to be doing VMO plies in a low lift. Start with your toes on the bar, heels together, neutral spine and pelvis. And then you hover your pelvis off the carriage and maintain that hover, 20 of these. Breathe out to draw the carriage in, focusing on keeping the pelvis and the spine hovering off. You can place your hands underneath your lower back, maintaining that neutral position while it's hovering, 20 of these pressing the heels together, drawing the heels towards your coccyx, really focusing on the back of the knees, squeezing, drawing the carriage into the stopper. Try and stabilize the scapula by pressing the scapula into the carriage. And now we're doing knock knees. So your toes stay exactly where they are, but you knock your knees together, the heels are out, and you only push out within a range that you keep the knees together. The pelvis and spine are hovering off the carriage. 20 of these. Really focusing on the in, drawing the carriage in, working the back of the legs. We're very much so strengthening the VMO muscles on the inside of the knees here and the adductors. 20 of these, keeping the knees together. Heels are pressing outwards from one another and then you lower down, and then prehensile plie. So you've got the arches of your feet on the bar, wrap your toes around, squeeze your legs together, hover the pelvis off, 20 of these, pushing the carriage out and in, maintaining the neutral pelvis and neutral spine, hovering just up off the carriage. You might wanna put your hands underneath your pelvis, making sure that you keep that pelvis lifted off the carriage. Focusing on the adductors, the inside thighs, the back of the legs, drawing the heels in towards your buttocks. So we do 20 of these. Each one of them is quite fast. Really building up the strength in your legs and get your heart beating. Then we have single leg rises. Legs are parallel. Lift one leg up. Lower the heel down and then raise the heel up. 10 of these, pushing through the big toe pad, pushing through the big toe joint, keeping the foot really parallel. The foot is in line with that right sit bone. As you lower and lift, the pelvis is in neutral, so there's a little hollow in the lower back. And then switching legs. The other knee is above the hip socket. Keep the kneecap squeezing and lifting up, straightening your legs so you feel the thigh muscle engaged as well as isolating the ankles and the calves. Ten of those and then we're going to draw the bed back into the stopper. Prances out wide, so widen your feet, the legs are in external rotation, toes are on the bar, straighten your legs and then you bend one knee and then the other knee going up through a rise, but your legs are in external rotation the whole time. So you're aiming to reach your knees towards where the ceiling and the wall would meet and keeping those deep hip muscles engaged to wrap the thigh bones out. Up to 20 of these. Think of reaching through the legs and then we're going to do a développé rond de jambe plus reverse. The toes are on the bar in a turnout position. Right foot hovering on top of the left, extend the leg out, rotate it around and then return to the start position. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Keeping the legs in line with your spine, open the leg out within a range that you don't move the pelvis. That's the challenge here, to open the leg out and keep the hips square to the ceiling. And then we're gonna reverse it, reach the leg out, lift it up and then bend and return. One of the most challenging things here in this exercise is not only keeping the pelvis stable, but keeping that supporting leg glute and hamstring at the back there engaged to keep the leg externally rotating and wrapping outwards. 
So then swap sides, so the feet are in line, the toe is in line with your spine, the other leg is hovering on top, and then reach up, open out within a range, the hips don't move, circle it around and return. Inhale, exhale, inhale, return. Legs in line with your spine, pelvic stability, wrap the thigh bones. Lifting and lengthening out, pelvic stability is the challenge here. Reverse it, reach the leg out, make sure that the hips don't rotate with that leg. Keep both hip bones straight up to the ceiling and then feet in line with the spine. Open it to the side, inside thighs and then wrap the thigh bones. One more, reaching out through the hips, return. Now we go into semicircle plus reverse. There's two springs on, it's quite strong. And have the springs out the width of the spring bar. Lower the pelvis down, press the arms into the shoulder rests. And then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until your thoracic spine is over the edge. Lift the pelvis up. Push the carriage out, roll through the spine, return, scraping the pelvis along the springs. Heels are together, knees are apart. Pressing out, lifting the pelvis, keep the carriage still and articulate. It's a strength exercise with these two strong springs. If it's too much for you, lighten the springs. This is very challenging with that spring tension. Now reverse it, push the carriage out. Keep the heels together, tuck the tail under, lift the pelvis up, draw the bed in and then articulate and mobilize your thoracic spine. Drop the tailbone down, push out, lift up and then reach the legs away and articulate. And again, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, lift and then roll and articulate. To come out of that, grab hold of the shoulder rest, pull them back in. Now we are going into corkscrew. Lift your legs up and roll onto one hip, hinge the legs away, roll onto the other hip and then return to the start position. Then the other side, roll onto the opposite hip, hinge the legs away, roll onto the hip and then return to the start position. Breathing in to roll, breathing out to hinge, Breathing in to roll, breathing out to return. Keep both shoulders pinned down, plug the shoulders down. Hinge from the hips, do not hinge from your lower back. So you're rotating the pelvis and then thigh bones hinge away. Return the legs back up and then roll and then hinge from the thighs, not the lower back and return. Now we're going into Curl ups with single toe taps off the edge. So swing around, have your shoulder blades and head off the carriage but within a range. So just test it out there. Make sure that you don't fall off, okay? So you're going to arch back, lift up, tap one toe down, lift it back up. Tap, tap the other toe down, lift it back up. Inhale, exhale and then alternate which leg you lead with first so you don't always do your strong side. Keep the abs engaged, deep in the connection, tap, tap, keeping the pelvis in a neutral position, so little hollow in the lower back as you hinge the thigh bones away from your pelvis. Anywhere between six to 10 sets of these, push your head back into your hands without dropping your head and then into obliques with switches. So you tap one toe and then reach towards the top knee. Keep the hips very square, look at your pelvis, make sure that the hips aren't rotating left and right. Grab hold of the back of the legs and then sitting up. Well done. Now into abdominals. So we've got one and a half springs on. Lying on your back, hands in straps. If you want the headrest up, put the headrest up, otherwise keep it down, whatever feels good on your body. Always make sure you're lying straight. So lift your head up maybe and have a look at your pelvis. Make sure you're straight. Hands in straps, hundreds. Start with the bed away from the stopper, arms above your shoulders, legs up and together. Breathing out to lift up and then pulsing the arms. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. 
inhale, exhale. Deepen the connection to your abdominals on the out breath. Keep pressing the hands into the strap so you work your armpit muscles. Good. Pin your shoulders back and down so that you're not using the neck to hold you up there, using your mid back. Squeeze the legs together, either keep the legs in parallel or turn them out. Have a little breather. And then we have nutcracker with your head up. Thumbs touching, index finger touching like a diamond shape. Hands above your shoulders, bed away from the stopper, legs are up. Lift your head and your chest up as you separate your legs and press the hands into the straps. Keep your head lifted now. Lift it up even more, keep it lifted. Drop the shoulders away from the ears as the arms lever over your head. Feel the tension in your abdominals as the arms lever up above your shoulders. The legs are in rotation. Squeeze the kneecaps as straight as you can and then have a little breather. Now into butterfly with beats. Start position. Arms up, bed away from the stopper, legs up. Okay, let's go. So arms up, legs up. Open the arms and the legs out. So you're going to lift up, separate the legs and then beat them together 10 times. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift up. Open the legs and beat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift up, open. Beat two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try and stabilize through your upper body. So try not to bob up and down. So really clamp down through your abdominals, through your lats, through your armpits, reaching the legs away as you do so. Anywhere between six to 10 sets, stabilizing your pelvis with the pelvic floor and deep abdominals, and then have a little rest. Well done. We're going into oblique butterflies. So arms up, legs up. Open the arms and legs out. And then you cross your left leg over your right and then your right leg over your left. Reach the right hand towards the left knee. Reach the left hand towards the right knee. Good. Moving the hands from those armpit muscles, using your abdominals to stabilize your lower back. And then really cross the legs over so you really get into those inside thighs. Lifting up and then return, have a little breather. L legs. Hands above shoulders, bed away from the stopper. One leg up, one leg just hovering off the bar. Pull your arms down three times, then keep your arms down, swap the legs, return back up. Again, three, two, one. Switch the legs and then back up. Shoulder blades, plug them back and down. Now keep your shoulders imprinted, reach the arms up again. Three, two, one. Scoop the belly as you switch the legs up. Reach through the legs, inside thighs, lengthening out away from your pelvis. Keep the arms down and then switch. Three, two, one, and switch, return. Have a little rest. We're about to go into feet in straps. So we had one and a half springs on for abdominals. You might want to add on a quarter spring now so that we have one and three quarters springs on. If you don't have those spring tensions, then maybe two springs. Lying on your back, feet in straps. We're doing intermediate feet in straps big frogs. So put one foot in the strap and then the other foot in the strap. Start with your legs out on a diagonal, turned out. Bend the knees, open them out, pause, draw straight legs over the bar. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic stability, keep the carriage still, move the carriage. Now reverse it. So you open the legs out, bend the knees, draw the heels together, and then reaching back out. Keep the carriage still, activating the back of the legs. Pelvic stability. 
keeping the hips square, controlling the equipment with the back of the legs. One more, reaching out through the thighs and then low openings. So open the legs out wide, keeping them straight and then flexing the feet, draw the legs together, breathing into point, breathing out to flex the feet, good. Okay, point the feet and then flex them. Pressing from the sit bones through to your heels with as much length as possible. Keep the tension in the straps as you open the legs out so that hamstrings at the back there are working rather than the springs just pulling on the carriage. Circles out wide. Hold the legs out wide and then circle them around about the size of a bread plate or a saucer. Ten of these, try and externally rotate the legs, pressing from the sit bones through to the heels and then reverse it. Pushing the feet into the straps with the back of the legs, not your lower back. Lengthening up out of the pelvis, feeling strong in the back of the legs. And then pause here for five deep breaths. You might want to put your hands on your thighs, pushing your hands into your thighs so you traction out through your hips. Using your muscles to hold your legs out wide. Draw the legs back up and then we're going to go into short spine single leg. So take your feet out of the straps. We need a light spring, otherwise you'll get really pulled to the side. One spring is all that you need for this. And then lie on your back and then you're going to put your feet in the straps. So push out, put your feet in the strap. Set yourself up so that you're aligned. Put the headrest down definitely. And then bend your knees. Now take one foot out of the strap. Put that foot back where it was so it's like both feet are in the strap. You're going to extend the legs out, draw the legs over your torso, keep the bed in at the stopper as you roll up through your spine, staying as even as you can. Bend your knees, roll down through the spine, moving your pelvis away from your heels and then draw the heels to the seat. Pushing out like frog and then fold in half, keeping the legs as even as possible. As you roll up, you're going to want to try and because your right foot is in the strap, you're going to want to swing to the right. So you've got to really stabilize and keep the spine on a straight line here. So the challenge is to perform this exercise like you had both feet in the straps, staying really symmetrical. It's a fantastic exercise for scoliosis and it'll bring up any imbalances along your spine. And do between, you know, six to ten on each side. Now swapping over, put the foot through the strap and then take the other foot out. And then start in a frog position, neutral pelvis. Extend the legs out and then imprint your lower back. And then roll up, keep the bed in at the stopper. Bend your knees, keeping the bed in the stopper. Roll your pelvis away from your heels as best you can and then draw the heels down. The legs are in external rotation. Keep them in external rotation. And then rolling up, keeping the heels, pressing them together inside thighs, lengthen out, bend the knees. And then articulate through your spine. Imagine there's a white line in the middle of the carriage and you're rolling the bony protrusions of your spine up and down along that white line right in the center of the bed particularly now as you roll down try and keep straight as you roll anywhere between four to six to ten take your feet out of the strap put one foot on the bar and then glide back in now we're going into long spine this is quite a challenging exercise. If you've never done this before, you need to stop and watch me first. You should not be doing this and looking at the screen. Your neck needs to stay straight. So we roll, we start with the legs out on a diagonal. Tuck everything in if you need. Now the legs hinge up. Keep the carriage still as you roll up onto your shoulders. Turn the legs out, open the legs out, roll down through the spine, keeping the tummy scooped in. 
and then hinge the legs away, draw them back together and above your hips. Keep the carriage still, roll up parallel legs, legs together, turn them out, separate them, keep them apart as you roll through the spine and then hinge them away. Now because we've only got one spring on, it's very challenging, lots of strength. The legs are apart now, we're reversing the movement, draw the legs together, parallel and then roll through the spine. Hinge the legs away, separate them, turn them out, keep them apart and turned out as you roll and then draw the legs together, lengthen, parallel and then roll through the spine. Well done. Take your feet out of the straps and hop off there. Now we're going to go into scooter on the frame. So put the foot bar down, not to its lowest, but quite low. Step up onto the carriage. Your hands are on the bar. Your right foot is on the foot plate, your left foot is hooked around the edge of the carriage. You're in a C-curve position, hands are against the back of the pelvis. Ten of these. The challenge here is to keep your supporting leg very still. The heel is lifted. Your thigh, your shin is staying very still on that supporting side. Ten of these and then flatten out your spine, pushing back and forward from the abdominals, of course, then the glute. Very strengthening and endurance exercise on that right foot and ankle and right thigh and buttocks. Moving the left leg whilst keeping everything very still. Deep abdominals. Put your hands down, bring the carriage in, then swap. Okay, so left foot is in line with the sit bones, right foot is in line with the right sit bones. C curve through your spine. If you need to put your hands on the bar, definitely do so. Be very careful in this exercise. You're gripping with your toes, the heels are lifted, you're in a C curve. Your tummy is scooping in, opening up your lower back, your buttocks is contracted throughout. Ten of these and then flatten out your spine. Fantastic stability, ankle strengthening and stabilising. Keep that left side very, very still, just isolating the right leg. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. The pelvic floor, deep abdominals are stabilising your body. Put your hands down, carefully step off. And then you might want to check your program. And we're going into a reverse split lunge. Put the headrest up. And then we're actually going to put the foot bar up as well to the same height that you would for your plies. We have either one or one and a half springs on and you've got reverse split lunge. So step up onto the carriage, hands against the shoulder rest and then ball of the foot wedged against the um, head rest. You're in a lunge. You're going to straighten your left leg, keep the leg straight, draw the carriage in, kiss your knee. Push the carriage back out and then return to the start position, foot underneath the knee. Breathing out to push away, breathing in to curve, drawing the carriage in and then straighten the spine and then return. As you push out, keep the spine straight. As you draw in, curving and then return to a neutral spine and then bend your left knee. Breathing out through the mouth, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth, breathing in to return, scoop. Anywhere between four to six to eight of these. And then we swap sides, bring the carriage in, put your right foot against the headrest, left foot against the shoulder rest into a lunge. And then straighten the right leg, kiss the knee, draw the carriage in. Push the carriage out, straighten your spine and then bend your knee. Breathing out through the mouth, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out, stabilise through your tummy and pelvic floor. Collarbones away from the ears. Bend the elbows in narrow and then reaching out and return. Keep that foot that's on the foot bar, keep the heel lifted. The legs are strong and engaged. Return the bed back into the stopper and then carefully step off there.
Now we have knees in straps. We have one spring on. You're going to hop up onto the carriage and then you're going to put your legs through the straps. So the strap is above the knee on the thigh and then pelvis against the shoulder rests, legs are together. Place the hands behind your head. You're in a neutral position, so a little hollow in the lower back, tailbone down, deep abdominals engaged. Breathing in to hinge, breathing out to return. And try and really activate the tummy muscles to draw the knees in. You're looking at your abdominals, your head is pressing back into your hands so your neck is relaxed. Try and lift up as high as you can, keeping neutral pelvis. And then into oblique, so you're switching sides. Breathing out to move, into return, out to move, into return. The tummy muscles, as best as you can, are initiating all of that movement. Up to 10 of these on each, or all up rather, so five to each side. And then we're going to hop off there. So pull the straps off. There's no real graceful way of getting out of this. Put the straps down, lifting up, using your hands. Well done. Now we're going into mad minute with single leg. So one spring on. We need to put the foot bar down so that the foot bar is pretty much in line with the shoulder rests there. Kneel up on the carriage. Interlace your hands. Put your forearms against the shoulder rest. The headrest is down. Put one foot on the bar, push it out. Put the other foot on the bar, keeping the carriage out. Now lift one leg up. Your legs are in parallel and they're sit bone width apart. Now pushing the carriage forward and back 10 times. Keep the collarbones away from your ears. Keep drawing that corset of support from ribs to hips and then the other side. So we're doing about 10 of these on each side. Breathing in to move, out to return. Pelvis very stable and still. Bend the knees, draw the carriage in. Now we're going into round the world plus reverse. So you put the foot bar back up, step up onto the carriage. Hands are a little wider than your shoulders or shoulder width apart. Heels are lifted and then pyramid position. Push the carriage out, keeping the arms still in space. Draw the carriage forward as best you can. Curve the spine, keeping the bed in at the stopper. Return to a pyramid position. Push to plank. Draw the bed in. Curve, keeping the bed in at the stopper and then return to a pyramid position. Breathing out, breathing in without buckling, breathing out, curving, scooping, and then return. And then reverse it. So keeping the bed in the stopper as best you can, and then pushing out. Keep the arms still as you return back to pyramid. Tuck the tail under, roll out, and then push out into a plank. Keep the arms still, hinge in the hips, return to pyramid. One more. The challenge is to keep the bed in as close to the stopper as you can there. And now the challenge is to keep your arms as still as you return back to the start position. Star prep with rotation. I'm just checking the program here. So you might want to have a look at the program, see where we are. And then set yourself up in pyramid. Push the carriage out into a plank, right hand in the center. Flip your feet, arm down by your side. Breathing in to push the carriage out, breathing out to return. Now push the carriage out and then drop your head, lift your hips up, reach towards the back ankle and then return back to a T and then to the start position. So the arm goes out and then in. That's part A. Part B, push out. Drop your head, hinge in the hips, draw the carriage in, return to a T and then to the start position. That was part B. So A is out and in and then B is the T with the twist, the T and then return. And the most challenging thing here is to keep that upper trapezius muscle soft. 
then the other side. So you're going to push the carriage out, put the hand in the centre of the bar, turn your feet around, stabilise through your shoulder blades. Push the carriage out and then in. Push the carriage out, drop your head down, rotate towards the back leg and then out and then return. Breathing in to push out, breathing out to return. In, now hinge at the hips, drop your head, lift the hips, return and then back in. One more, out and in. And then push out to a T, drop your head, scoop and reach, return and then back in. Look at the bar, put your hands down, square up, draw the bed back in, pyramid position. Hop off there. We're going to go into a short box series, climb a tree. Put the short box in its short box position. You might want to have all of the springs on just to keep the bed in nice and secure. And you are hooking your feet underneath the straps. You're perched towards the front of the box because you actually need to have your sacrum secured against the box as you roll back. Okay, so make sure you're towards the front of the box. Grab hold of underneath your right thigh. Straighten and bend the leg three times. Walk your hands up towards your foot. Kiss your knee. Keep your head and your shin connected. Lift the leg up vertical. Flex your supporting leg. Now walk down your leg, keeping your right leg as vertical as you can. And then arching back, release. Lift your head and your chest. Walk up. Draw your forehead towards your shin and then return to the start position. Propped up on top of your sit bones, straighten and bend your leg three times. Walking up towards your foot and then draw the head. Lean back and then release, walking down your leg. Keep your abdominals engaged as you stretch your arms over. Lift your head and your chest up. And then draw your forehead towards your shin, lovely. And then back in, such a lovely stretch. Two, great strengthening for your thigh. But you just do what you can. You can. If your leg doesn't fully straighten, that's fine. You can still do this with a bent leg. If your leg is bent, your thigh bone will be vertical. That's what we're after, reaching up and over. Use your abdominals. So we'll do three of these on each side. And then return and lift other side. So whack your foot underneath the strap there, flex your right foot, your right foot underneath the strap is holding you there. And then you grab hold of your wrist with your hand, you straighten and bend your leg three times as best you can. Walking up, you can hold onto the calf or the ankle or the foot, head to shin, hinge back and then walking down, keep your sacrum on the box. You want your sacrum on the box and then lift the head and the chest up, use your abdominals to roll forward and then kiss the knee, or the shin and then back up again. Breathe out, in, out, in, out. Walking up, forward to shin, hinging back, straight leg and then walking down. Keep your abs engaged as you reach up and over. That foot that's underneath the strap is really helping you there. Walking up, Lengthen and then return. Stretching up and out of the body. Lifting up out of your hips. Walking up. Kiss the knee. Stretch the back of the leg. Hinge back. Abdominals are working here. Now that foot that's underneath the strap there, really work that leg. The leg is strong as you arch back. Lift. And then return to the star position. Lovely. Sides with Spanish arms. So you're sitting side on, you're on the outside of the greater trochanter, the hip bone. The hand is above your head, you switch, arms rotate, left arm down and up and over, turn that leg out, grab hold of the box, side stretch. And then right arm over your head, opening the chest to the floor, left hand to the floor, lift up and over, and then side stretch. And then Spanish arms here, so you switch. The leg goes parallel. The leg is parallel. Keep the leg parallel, and now turn the leg out 
as you stretch and then as you do the Spanish arms again, bring the leg back into parallel. Rotate, hips stay square, reaching up and over. Keep the deep abdominals supporting your spine. Anywhere between six to ten of these, curving to the left, rotating to the floor, reaching down and up and over. Beautiful big stretch, keep lifting up and out of the hips. Other side, so turn around, put your left foot through the strap, you're perched on the outside of your right hip, and then the underneath arm is above your head. And then switch the arms, rotate towards the floor, reach the underneath arm down and up and over, turn the leg out, big side stretch, deep abdominals, and then left arm over your head, right hand in line with your belly button, arms reaching out. Reach the right arm down to the floor, lift it up and over, and then stretching. Switching, curving to the right, rotating to the floor, and then lift up and over, curve over to the left. So we do it between six to eight to ten of these. Reaching up and over. Beautiful side stretch. Leg is parallel here. And then we turn the left leg out now. Well done, that feels so good. Long box, put the box in its long box position, shoulder up against the shoulder rest, make sure it's even on both sides. We've got grasshopper here, we've got two springs on and you want the foot bar down. You're going to lie on the box with your hips, your pelvis on the box, your hands are on the foot bar. So you're moving forward and you might want to just test it out to make sure that you're not going to fall off. So you're going to go forward, lift the legs up, beat two, three, extend the legs out and then return to the start position, inhale, lift up. So lift the legs up as you tilt forward and then keep the legs and the knees apart as you pulse three times, crossing the ankles over and then reaching the breastplate forward and up. Glutes lift your leg, hamstrings, 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 reach and then lift. Really engaging your buttocks there, dropping the tailbone down as best you can to lengthen out through the lower back even though you're arching the lower back. Okay, so hopping off there. And now we're going into breaststroke. Lying on the box, grab the straps. And then you put your knuckles together, elbows out wide, the knuckles are above your chest. Knees are together, lift and lengthen the legs up and around and then reach and then return. So arms and legs straight and separate, reach and then return. Inhale, exhale, stabilizing and then try and lift up a little higher. The pelvis is in neutral, your lower back is in neutral. We do anywhere between four to ten of these. Have a little rest, maybe arch your spine back, I like doing that, it feels good. And then we're going into teaser prep. You might want to try and find a more graceful way than what I'm demonstrating in this one. But basically what you're doing is you're perched on the box, you're towards the front quarter of the box, a little bit forward of the midline, and then you want to grab the straps and your arms, so I was too far back there, you want to be perched forward. Your arms are in a scoop position, your legs are together and bent, and you go from beside your body up to your knees, scooping. Think of leading with your little fingers 
And what we're doing is we're balancing between your coccyx and your sit bones, scooping the tummy. Moving the arms is really challenging your torso stability here. So that's what we're after. We're wanting to stay still from the pelvis through to the head, moving the arms, working the inside thighs, the pelvic floor, deep abdominals. And then put your feet down, put the straps down. Arm work. So we're doing kneeling side arms now. So put half a spring on or a three quarter of the spring on if you're quite strong. I like to work with half a spring so that I work my deep muscles rather than overworking my neck and my upper shoulders. And we're going to do cross pull with a twist. So either half or three quarters spring on, you're kneeling up with your knee against the shoulder rest. So I need to move in here. And you start with the hand in line with the hip, lift the arm up, reach it and twist to the back, return hand to shoulder, then to hip. Arm, reach, twist, arm, bend, return. Shoulder stability, wrap. So the challenge here is to keep your shoulder blade stabilized against the rib cage at the back there while you move your arm and then add in the twist. Very strengthening for the back of the shoulder, which is great because we spend so much time sort of hunched over a, shoulder, over a computer. Now hug a tree with a side reach. Bring the hands in line with your chest as you laterally flex away from the straps. Then return to neutral. So chest and pec and then laterally flexing. Breathing out, breathing in. Lower abdominals, laterally flex, and then return. Pelvic floor, navel to spine, reaching over, return. Lifting up and out of the pelvis. Making sure in your neutral pelvis, so pubic bone and hip bones, square to the front. And then tricep extension, so move away from the shoulder rest. Put your hand on the shoulder rest. Flip your top palm up towards the ceiling and then straighten and bend that right arm. Breathing out to straighten, breathing in to return. Keeping the collarbones away from the ears, not using your upper trapezius. Beautiful stretch through the body. And imagine you're looking at your body side on, make sure you're not overarching your back. You want your pelvis, your thighs, your ribs, your chest are all in one line. Up to 10 of these. And then into double arm with a side reach. So the arms go over your head like a ballerina doing a pirouette, laterally flexing and then return with length. Lifting up and out and return. Moving your arms up above your head without lifting your shoulder blades, your collarbones up. Quite challenging to stay stable through the hips and the shoulders. No twisting and rotating. Breathing out. Breathing in, and then torso twist with pulse. So you rotate, release a little bit, and then deepen the twist, release a little bit, deepen the twist, and then return. Using your obliques to rotate, release a little bit, deepen the twist, release a little bit, deepen, and then return with length and length. And again, working the obliques, working your tummy muscles, rotating, lifting up and out, Pelvic floor lifts now. Deep abdominals stabilizing your pelvis and your lower back as you rotate. Lifting up and out as you rotate. Upper side. So knees against the shoulder rest. And then outside hand holding on. Hand to shoulder, reach, twist. And then stabilize your shoulder. Strength through the back of your shoulders. Keeping the collarbone down away from the ear. Shoulder blade muscle, abs, abs, shoulder blade. Try not to use momentum here. Use your muscles to move your body. Keep lifting up and out of the pelvis, stabilizing with those deep abdominals and pelvic floor. And then hug a tree 
with reach. So you're reaching the spine up and over. Very challenging to keep your collarbones and hip bones really square to the wall that you're facing. You'll want to really rotate and swing around to the right here. So you've got to use your abdominals to keep square. Inside thighs are also activating here, drawing your inside thighs towards one another and up. And then tricep extension. Straighten the top arm and then return the elbows straight up towards the ceiling. The palm is up towards the ceiling. Beautiful side stretch. Breathing out through the mouth, in through the nose. Keep lifting your breastplate up and out of your pelvis, creating space and length through your upper spine. Pubic bone forward towards the wall that you're facing. Glutes engage to lengthen out your lower back. Double arm with a side reach, so your arm goes over your head, laterally flexing, and then return with length. Breathing out to lift and flex, breathing in to open and return. Arms go over the crown of the head and then out to about ear height. Laterally flexing the left side, return to a neutral spine. Laterally flexing, lifting up and out. One or two more of these. Stabilizing with those deep abdominals and pelvic floor. Then we have twist. So you rotate, release a little bit and then deepen the twist. Release, deepen and then return with length and it's abs pushing the hands against the straps. And then return even there. The abdominals are doing the work. The tummy muscles are moving the hands against the straps and then you're resisting against the pull of the spring. Pull and engage and keep lifting up and then here keep the resistance against the strap with your abs. Two, breastplate lifts up. Three, the sit bones are drawing towards the back of the thighs. Okay, now in two, rowing back one with side reach. We've got one spring on. Your legs are straight and together over the headrest, right leg on top of the left. Rowing back one. So your arms are straight, palms are facing in towards one another, reaching the arms towards the back of the reformer. And then we bend the elbows, draw your hands towards your chest. One, keep them there. Posteriorly tilt, tuck under, open your arms out. Now rotate to the right and then return. Rotate to the left and then return. Press the hands back, draw your head towards your knees, touch your hands, rotate your arms around, kiss the wrists together and then straighten your spine. Hands to chest, keep your hands to chest, open, palms backwards. Rotate back to center, rotate back to center, press the hands, drop your head, reach around, kiss the wrists, scoop the belly in and then return. Bring the hands in towards, or swap the legs rather, bring the hands into your chest. Okay, now really reach your legs away from you as you tuck your tail up towards the ceiling. Lengthen out, keep lengthening the legs away from your hips as best as you can. The legs are very active here. And then scoop around, control the equipment as it hits the stopper. And then biceps. Reach the legs towards the back of the reformer. Keep reaching the legs away. The legs are engaged. Press the hands. Keep engaging the legs. Squeeze in the buttocks. Squeeze the knees straight. And then return. We've got rowing front one with the back extension. So the legs are straightened together in parallel. Grab hold of the straps. Elbows are back. Now reach the arms up to a diagonal. Touch the carriage. Lift the arms straight up to the ceiling. Now arch your spine back. Open the arms. Return to the start position. The arms go to high, eye height. Down to the carriage. Now lift them up to the ceiling. Lift, lift, lift the chest up as you open and then return. The buttocks is engaged. The legs are squeezing straight. Keep lifting up, up, up out of your pelvis. 
and then return. The legs are very active. Your deep abdominals are helping you stabilize. And then lift, 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 and then return. Okay, so put the straps down and now we're going into some intermediate abduction series. We've got one spring on. If you want to go really crazy, you can put more than one spring on. One or two, up to you. I like to use one. And we are going to abduction straight. So your legs are straight, your hands are on your hips. You're going to push the carriage out, keeping the legs straight. We've done this in other workouts, so pretty straightforward. This is just to get everything working. This is an endurance series, so we're doing six of these, pressing out through the heels. Keep the pelvis in neutral, the target area of the glute med and min at the back of the hips there on the outside. Try and stay as stable as you can through your body. Now bend your knees, push the carriage out, keep the carriage still as you straighten and draw it in. Bend, neutral, push out, keep the carriage still, neutral pelvis and spine, return. Again, bend, push out. The challenge is there as you try and straighten your legs, keeping the carriage still as you straighten and then return. Then we reverse it, push out. Bend the knees, keep the carriage still. Now draw the carriage in and then straighten neutral pelvis and spine. Push the carriage out, keep it still now. Draw it in and then zip up through your center line. Press out, bend, draw it in and then straighten. One more, push out. You can really feel this in the outside of the hips here. Now we're going to go into sliding plus reverse. So hinge forward and then supporting leg, outside leg, return. Carriage leg, framework, return. Carriage leg, frame, return. Carriage, frame, return, and then reverse it. Frame, carriage, return. Slide, slide, return. Push the carriage out as you switch, keep it as still as you can. And frame, carriage, bend. Stand up other side stepping off there being careful and then we've got abduction straight so you're standing up your legs are straight pushing the carriage out and then return pelvis is in neutral so you've got your pubic bone and your hip bones on the same flat plane there where my hands are, they're the muscles that we're focusing on pushing the carriage out glute, me, glute med, glute min Pushing through the heels will really help you work those muscles. Now bend and then push out, straighten and return. Plie out, straighten, return. Neutral and then keep the carriage still as you straighten your legs. Then we reverse it. So you bend your knees, push out and then straighten. Now we're going to reverse it. So you push the carriage out. Bend the knees, draw it in, and then zip up from the pelvic floor. Heels, carriage still, control, zip up through the front line. Push out, control the carriage. In you come, and then zip up. One last one, bend your knees, and back up. Then we've got sliding plus reverse. Carriage, frame, return. Carriage leg, frame leg, return. Move the carriage, keep it still, and then return it. Push through the heels, and then we reverse it. So you push through the frame leg, carriage, return. The deep abdominals are stabilizing you. Your spine is in neutral. Your abs are supporting your spine, and then straighten. Hop off there. Now we're going into adduction with a cross touch, half a spring on, you might want to use a sticky mat on the carriage, otherwise just step straight up like I am, arms out to a T, now cross, lift, touch the opposite ankle, uh, toe or ankle and then you push the carriage out as best you can and then you draw the legs back in, now the challenge here is to keep the bed pressing firmly against the stopper. 
pressing firmly against the stopper. Do not let the carriage move at all as you do the cross touch. Now, keep the bed in at the stopper. I'm really working my inside thighs really hard here to keep that carriage still. And then we go for a mobility section here and then strength section, good. And then cross, lift, keep the carriage into the stopper. And then pushing out, stretch, and then use your inside thighs, squeeze the heels together, hop off there, bend that supporting leg, hop off. Other side, we're almost done guys. You've done such a great job stepping up onto the frame and then put your other foot on the carriage, bed in at the stopper, lengthen through your spine. Cross touch, lift, hinge at the hips. Lift, now maintain neutral, open, open, open. Draw the heels together and then keep the bed. That's what you're looking for. Keeping the bed in at the stopper. Do not let it move away from the stopper at all. Now it moves and then lift up through the front pelvic floor and press the heels towards each other as you whoop, hinge in the hips. Pressing out, draw the bed in and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Touch, lift, hinge, return to neutral, and then out you go, live dangerously. Can you go out a little bit further, but be careful. Squeeze, and then bend that supporting leg, hop off. Absolutely fantastic, well done. So how did you go? I really hope you enjoyed that workout. I'm looking forward to taking you through my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date and get notified when it's released. If you did enjoy the workout, tapping the like button is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and remember, movement is medicine.